Hello everyone, it's Adam Martin and welcome back to AMTV Who and this time I've got another unboxing for you or more like a unboxing slash comparison sort of video. Those who are familiar with my main channel know the drill with these ones but today we're going to be looking at the standard edition release of Doctor Who The Collection Season 24. So the standard edition releases have been coming out gradually, haven't they? Sort of offering an alternative to the limited edition packaging that these originally come in. You can see these two are side by side. On the left is the limited edition packaging that came out in the summer of 2021. And on the right, we have the recently released standard edition that came out in February of 2023. Now, on the surface, and indeed on many of the discs or the contents, a lot of what you get is exactly the same. You're not being shafted for content in any way, but we'll delve into that. You can see that these two bear the same front cover. There are some slight cosmetic differences on the front, which we'll get into, but let's just have a look at the limited edition first. Again, this came out nearly two years ago now in this beautiful packaging with this beautiful artwork designed as ever by the marvellous Lee Binding. If you aren't familiar with Lee's work, I highly recommend you go and check his stuff out. It's absolutely fantastic. You've got all the villains on the front there, such as the Rani, the cleaner robots from Paradise Towers, the chief caretaker, the dragon, and much more. What's not to like? It's a gorgeous cover. But now let's just flip it on its side. This is one of the big key differences. You can see this is the spine of the limited edition. You know, it's quite, quite thick, quite chunky. But some people like the fact that the limited editions are a bit more beefier, for want of a better word, that they stand out more. You can clearly see the picture there. It says Doctor Who the Collection emblazoned there. It says Season 24 on the side, and it's rated 12. More about the spines a little bit later. Flipping it on over to the back, this is your uh, what was contained. So it's the four stories, of course, from Season 24, which are Time and the Rani, Paradise Towers, Delta and the Bannermen, and Dragonfire. And if you're thinking, well, you only get four stories on this Blu-ray box set, well, have no fear. The special features have you covered. There is tons of stuff behind the sofas, in conversations, brand new documentaries about the season, extended versions of all four stories featuring untransmitted material. And also there's tons, and I mean tons, of like archive stuff. So when they were actually filming this, you know, studio tapes, all that sort of stuff, it's, it's a real treat that that stuff's here. So don't worry, there's only four stories, but you're, you're catered for with a wealth of different special features here for the 14 episodes. So as we open it up a second, so you can see here on the left, you've got some gorgeous artwork of the Doctor and Mel arriving on Paradise Towers, the TARDIS in the background there. I always love these little artworks that, uh, that accompany the box sets. They're just really, really nice. Adds a whole bit of personality to the whole set, if you ask me. And you have the eight discs. Now, for all four stories, they all have two discs, which just goes to show you how much, and when I said about the special features, there really is tons. There is tons and tons of special features here for you to enjoy. So you're going to be well catered for on your eight discs. And also the booklet. Now these booklets are great because not only do they contain obviously what's on what disc and information there. It also contains information about the season. About where the show was at that time in history. Production information. Behind the scenes stuff. How it was received on transmission. There's literally a whole wealth of content here. Now, some of it has been previously available, I believe, in sources like Doctor Who magazine. More recently, Doctor Who The Complete History, the uh, the series of books, which are fantastic. But, you know, uh, the, the main thing about it is the disc information and what's on what. And you can see there, without the booklet, you've got a lovely image of the poor Doctor and Mel on the TARDIS floor after being hit by the Rani. Again, nice little, nice little diorama there, just adds a bit of character to the set. So that is mainly what you're getting with the, uh, with the limited edition set here you know a lovely big package big beefy booklet all the discs individual in these trays you know a lot of personality with the artwork and stuff it really is a nice collector's piece so what differs then when you look here at the standard edition well you can see the most obvious thing is at the top it's got the blu-ray logo strip now why does it have that well i mean both our sets are blu-ray but this comes in more of a standard blu-ray case it's the same amount of discs you can see at the bottom right there, it says eight discs. It's the same artwork, so don't worry, you aren't being shafted there. But look at this spine difference. Look at that. That standard edition one is tiny in comparison to the limited edition one. And this is the main reason, I think, why the standard edition ones, or one of the main reasons why they're so popular. It's on space saving. Now, you know, I'm a Whovian as well. I'm a collector of various things, so space is always an important factor. And I mean, just look at this, guys. It's chalk and cheese, isn't it? You can see that the, the standard edition one is just so much slimmer, takes up a lot less shelf space, and the limited edition one's lovely. You know, it's again, it's that lovely complete package. It's that lovely book style format. But again, just, just look at that slim one, man. 
Just look at how slim that is and think of how much, how many more things you could cram onto your shelf. So if space is a concern for you inherently, then I would definitely absolutely be going for the standard edition one here. Just having a look at the back, as you can see, it's the exact same stuff here. Same writing, same special features almost. It's all just been condensed a little bit. So yeah, you are, at least on what's being offered on the back, you are getting the exact same content as before, which is, I mean, that's good. I don't think anyone should be cheated out of content just because they got the standard edition, if you get me. But now let's take it out of the slip box. And here it is. You can see that is a standard Blu-ray case. And look at that. Some lovely artwork of the TARDIS being shot by the Rani, nice little nod to the opening story, just a nice little touch there if you ask me. So it's a nice, uh, slightly chunky Blu-ray case and it's the same cover on the front. Opening it up, your discs are here. I'm just gonna take the booklet out a sec. So you can see there's uh, Time in the Rani's discs there. So they're all still individually placed. That's Paradise Towers for you. And then you have Delta and the Bannermen and then you have Dragonfire. So yeah, still nice that they're all individually placed because let's face it, there are some box sets for like movies and stuff that stack the discs, which I just think is horrendous. It's a really bad practice, I think. It just means they're likely to get scratched or damaged. So it's nice that they're still individually placed within here. Now, the main difference I think would be the booklet aside from the size of this thing. So now in this booklet, you are just getting the disc breakdowns. You are literally just getting what's on each disc. Any information about the production, about the season is not included in this. And I get this is done, you know, to slim it down because it is coming in a smaller package. But some people prefer this. Some people like just taking out a booklet and being able to open it and find out what's on each disc if they've forgotten like where a certain special feature is or where the behind the scenes stuff is. It's convenience more than anything. So I'd say if you're not particularly bothered about like, you know, the production information side of it or you've already read that sort of stuff or you have it again in the complete history series of books or you've accessed it through other means, then maybe again the standard edition might be a better pickup for you because it's containing a slimmer booklet that literally just has the essentials, which is the disc breakdown. And on the back it's the same lovely art cards there of Sylvester, Bonnie and Sophie. So all in all then, that is the two packages. So again, just to reiterate, the main difference with the standard edition compared to the limited edition is it's smaller in size, both in height and certainly in width, so it's definitely a space saver there and the booklet inside, that it's a much more bare bones booklet, just the disc breakdowns, but again, some people might prefer that. And some people prefer the standard editions as a whole, they say they're a bit more robust than the limited ed sets, because you know that the limited ed sets come in the little cardboard sleeve, some say they're more easily damaged, and they're not as easy to fix or replace, and I get that, I, you know, there's, there's reasons on both sides why one, you could argue, would be better than the other. Some people like to have both as an alternative, you know, at the minute. This might change in the future, but the standard editions are the ones going on my shelf alongside the remaining DVDs, and the limited edition ones are making more like display pieces at the minute, which I think looks really cool. That's just personal preference. You know, later down the line, I am probably going to sell on the limited edition ones just for space more than anything else, because let's face it, when it comes to space, the, the standard edition clears it by a mile. The odd thing is, though, with the previous standard edition releases, they've been available when the limited ed ones have been sold out, you know, no longer available to get. Season 24 limited edition, though, is still available to get from a few places. I saw it on HMV. I think it's retailing there for between 45 and 50 pounds, I think. The standard edition is, well, the, this recent one was retailing for 40 pounds. That's a few pounds more expensive than the previous ones, which I think have been around 37, 38. I understand at the minute, you know, there's uh, inflation's running wild, cost of living, cost of producing all that sort of stuff so you know maybe that's to bear in mind I know some people think it, the standard edition should be a bit cheaper than 40 pounds and I mean I am inclined to agree to some extent but that is the way it is I'm sure some of these may eventually come on sale and again have no fear there's not necessarily a rush with the standard edition one there isn't necessarily a time limit as there has been on the limited edition ones these are going to be on the shelves for quite a while but it's ultimately to weigh up to you I'd say if you don't have either of these the standard edition one might be the better one practically but if you own the limited edition you know it's you've got to chalk up are you going to sell it to buy the standard are you, or are you going to make room for another copy there's so many factors to decipher but season 24 as a whole is an absolute buy for me i mean it gets a lot of rap this season doesn't it but it's it's one of my it's one of my favorites it's like a under it's an underappreciated one it's all just a bit of fun if you turn your like serious head off it's a bit of fun time of the rani is a really fun opener paradise towers has such an intriguing world delta and the bannerman is just a bit of like fluffy camp but you know we always need a bit of that in our lives. And Dragonfire is actually a really cool finale. Yes, Miss Potential in some places or hampered by limitations, but it's still really cool nonetheless. So Season 24 as a buy is an absolute must for me. Which version though? That's up to you. 
But that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like on it. It really helps us out here at AMTV Who. And also, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you aboard here with us. So I've been Adam Martin from AMTV Who. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time for another trip in the TARDIS.